Hey, it's Clay. Welcome to another video. Today, I want to take a look at um, an amp that I built. It's a Marshall Plexi. And, you know, when you think about Marshall Plexis or JTM 45s or any of those old classic non master volume amps, you think of kind of cranking the snot out of them, getting that old rock and roll tone, and just a really, really cool and rich sound. And currently, I don't really feel like the Plexi that I've got here is kind of living up to that. So, I'm going to kind of try to troubleshoot some different things and see if I can get to the bottom of it. This has actually been a suspicion I've been having for a little while. And I'm going to do a couple different tests and do some different, see if I can kind of systematically figure out if there is something going wrong or some kind of problem or where exactly it's happening. Um, so if you're interested in that, let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so for my first test, I've got my PRS... Uh, S2 standard 22 I'm plugged straight into the Marshall now the first thing I want to show you guys is just kind of the way the volume controls work it has a uh, pre phase inverter master volume installed and for the duration of this I'm gonna turn that thing all the way up to its maximum so as if it was a non master volume uh, completely and what you'll notice I'm gonna start on the normal channel and I've got the volume right now set at like 9 o'clock or even 830 and already it's getting to be pretty distorted. The other comment I'll make is this amp, the channels are jumped internally. So maybe that's something I can look at um, at changing. But uh, the way that it's set up right now is the channels are always permanently jumped. And I just would say that it's already pretty heavily distorted. So let's go ahead and take a listen to that. Okay, so the first thing I want to test is the speaker in the speaker cabinet. I'm running into a Seismic 112 that's got a um, Eminence Red, Right, and Blue speaker. I'm going to instead try this old clothes back here that's got an ETS, I'm sorry, where a WGS G12C speaker that's kind of in a semi open. We're going to test that speaker cabinet, see if that does any differently. <laughs>
checking on the tubes that I've got. I had a t two. I had a 12AX7 from Electroharmonics in V1 and V2. The phase inverter had a JJ ECC83. So, uh, um, yeah, kind of a mix of preamp tubes. I'm going to try swapping them for a couple of tongue soles I've got in another amp. <laughs> Okay, so I have not listened to the recorded audio yet, but in the room, um, I, I mean, the speakers are different, no difference between the cables, but when I swapped the preamp tubes, that was actually a drastic change. I feel like those, that first set of tubes that I had in um, was very high gain, and very, also the amp was very, very noisy. Well, putting in the second set of tubes, um, the amp really seemed to come back and perform in much more of a way that I was hoping and expecting it would. You know, at, with the volume at about 9 o'clock, 8.30, 9 o'clock, it really actually had a nice kind of cleanish tone with kind of what I would be hoping and expecting that it would be. So my initial reaction is it probably was just those preamp tubes. Um, I'm kind of having a lot of fun with this, though, so I'm going to try a couple other things. Specifically, I'm going to try replacing the power tubes and see if that does anything. <laughs> 